So for example, if I want to work in ACES, I can just simulate my own input device transform and also my ODT, my output transform, by using ACES transform OFX. By setting up this IDT and ODT, I will be able to access the AP1 color space. So for example, um, here I will just specify my uh, footage was shot in SLOG3 in this case. And then my output transform. So literally it's saying, hey, this is an SLOG3 footage and please could you go to ACES CC color space. And uh, the note after that will be in ACES CC color space. And then to transform back to our display color space, I will just do the opposite. So I will uh, use the input transform as ACES CC and my output transform as my display uh, color space, in this case, the REC 709 or sRGB. And it means now I have choices that I, I can use. So I can work before the color transformations in this in this case, meaning that I can work in the camera color space in the S-Log tree, or I can work in the color manage color space, in this case, the ACCC, or if I wish, I can also work in uh, REC 709 by creating the adjustment after the transform to REC 709. For example, if I just want to uh, work in ACES and trust resolve to to do all the transformations, I can do so just by uh, simply drag and drop magic bullet looks in between the transformations. And by clicking edit look, we'll be in the look designer interface. And here I can select the input gamma to be in ACCC. And then also I'll just reroute it back as the, the same as the input gamma. So in this case, I can use all the tools available in the, in the Magic Bullet Looks. Magic Bullet Looks doesn't only come with tons of presets, but it also comes with tons of tools, like really fun tools that you can use. So if I want to do the film emulations, if I'm dropping it, the film negative here and film print afterward, and if I want to change something in between, for example, that, and I can just use four-way color corrector or colorista in this case, and I can just maybe introduce something like introduce red using the global uh, wheel. But also, for example, I can just use the preset that Stu already sent me before. And it was the preset that he built inside After Effects. And that is by just simply going to my custom looks. And another thing is that, as I see in inside Magic Bullet looks, Stu applied some tools that is literally a tool that you got by physically modifying your camera, tweaking your camera, like the lens vignette, for example, or a lens flare, that's a physical effect that you get on set. So if I want to emulate that on my camera color space, I can just simply drag and drop it from here. And right before my input transform, I can just create a node and drag and drop another magic bullet looks. And here, I can simply just use the same presets, but drop the other one. And this should be from SLOG3 back to SLOG3. So now I have all the flexibility that I want. So if for instance, I want to add diffusions filter in my camera color space, I can use that prior to the input transform. And I can also do the color corrections in ACES color space between the transformations. And by doing so, you successfully mimicking the color managements that you normally set up in the project managements. Plus you have the flexibility to access the camera color space as well.